Hello, Galvanize family. Myself and a group of Galvanize reporters decided to dig deep in this crazy sports world and interview women of all aspects of the sports industry. Today, I'm in Beaumont at the KFDM Fox 4 Studios with Miss Heather Healy. Thank you for being of here. Of course, thank you for having me. I know you have a busy day. You have a sports yeah. <laughs> coming up. Thank you. <laughs> Heather graduated from OU and you've been in Beaumont for three years now? Almost three years. Two um, and a half going on three. Uh, so, how's yeah. it been so far? It's been great so far. This is a great starter market. Uh, like you said, I graduated uh, from University of Oklahoma in December of 2015 and I started here in November of 2016 um, so it's been a huge a growing experience for me and it's been a great place to do sports a great place to grow and a great place to kind of connect with everybody in this community so I absolutely love starting here Networking, networking is so influential in this industry. I wish I would have networked a lot in college, but unfortunately I didn't. What would you say to a senior, a girl that wants to get into this industry about networking? Sure, definitely network, network, network. That's the number one thing that I would tell people. You need to get a LinkedIn page. You need to DM people as much as you can to try to get your foot in the door, whether it's a reporter, whether it's a station manager, anything or anybody that you think that you want to idolize or that you want to kind of get in their shoes message to see what they have to say what they have to offer and see if they can help you along the way in your process and also of course this industry is great on storytelling we have to tell stories but not only do we have to tell stories of other people we kind of have to put ourselves into their sure. shoes that's a great part of storytelling what have you learned Three years, almost three years out of college. Three years out of college. Almost three years out of college. What have you learned about your story? Oh no, it's twenty four. It's twenty nineteen, so four years. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> what four have years. you learned so far about storytelling? Um, I love storytelling. That's why I got into this industry was to tell other people's stories. But I also like putting in my in, uh, input in it as well. Uh, a good recent story, last night, head coach W.T. Johnson here in Newton, who I am very close with, passed away last night. So, and I'm doing a story on it right now, and it's great to um, to get to tell his story through my eyes and get to be so close with him and get to experience what he gets to experience in Southeast Texas and what the Southeast Texas community loves so much about him. Uh, that's a great example, but being able to get close with the community, that's a great deal if you're wanting to get into this industry, that's a really great aspect of the uh, of this job for sure. And galvanizing all about women empowerment, women sticking together. Do you have that woman mentor in your life? And how influential is it to have somebody that kind of just is on your side, they understand sports with you, we're all women. Is it important to have that in this industry? Absolutely. I have many. Uh, Jessica Crawford, who is our weekend anchor, she and I are very close. And uh, no, she doesn't do sports necessarily, but she and I kind of lift each other up. We kind of help each other. But there are many people in this industry, not just the Aaron Andrews or people here, but I mean, anybody that you see that has got a passion for this business, that's got a passion for telling people's 